so hello everybody something a little bit different for the channel welcome back we are in the uh, car wash at Sainsbury's I say we got my little friend Alfie with me we are trying their ultimate pro I think it's ultimate pro or ultimate plus uh, car wash it's it's reasonably new um, it's all changed really recently this is the Sainsbury's on Chooks Road in Cheltenham We're going to see what it's like. It's supposed to uh, ultimately dry the car completely and there's like a super wheel wash and whatnot. We've just been covered in some sort of liquid. Maybe a bit of a pressure wash off. Car is a bit filthy. For those of you who want to know what I drive, I drive a Mini. Big, big countryman. So, yeah. Let's see if this uh, car wash is any good. I do quite like car washes. My favourites, probably the IMO car washes. <coughs> but our nearest one is in Gloucester. And that's quite a while. Quite a way to go just to wash a car. If I was over in Gloucester and needed the car washed, then I'd go. But I'm not going to drive all the way to Gloucester just to get the car washed. By the time I get back, it will be filthy again. So it looks like they've got some soap. Wheels are being washed. It's really interesting, so my mirrors do fold in. alloys on this car so they probably need a good scrubbing. Surprisingly my mirrors haven't been pushed in. Need to change. As I said this is a um, fairly updated version of their car washes. They used to have a three pound, a five pound and a six pound car wash, I think it was. I've, I've been here before. Whereas now I think it's three, five, six and eight fifty. I think. I've gone for the eight pound fifty one, well, I'll give it a try. I mean in all fairness, eight pound fifty is probably a bit on the steep side for a car wash considering you can probably go to a hand car wash for less than that. Probably for about £11.50 more, you can probably get the car washed inside and outside, so it is a bit on the premium side, really. and rinsed. Now what's going to happen? I believe there's some sort of um, polish of some sort to this or wax or something. I can't remember what the program said. Should have got a photo, shouldn't I? Just to check. I've been sprayed again. I'm assuming this will be like a, a wax. Yeah, it looks like a kind of a waxy kind of... Uh, substance yeah i would say it probably is i'm not an expert but i would say it probably is some kind of waxy kind of substance
from again. I think it looks they're like rubbery bristles, aren't they? I mean, our bus wash at the depot has proper um, bristles. sprayed yet again as well so there's probably some kind of rain repellent some kind of wax um, stuff like that and probably just a quick rinse after here comes the ultimate drying experience it says on the thing I think something along those lines it's supposed to completely dry the car now I will let you into a little secret this is my second time in this car wash um, on this premium package car wash is £8.50 and the car wasn't overly dry the last time we came so we'll see how it is today it's um it's not the best of dryers to be fair because I've been in washes where the actual dryer adjusts its positioning so that it actually lines up better with the car windscreen and things like that. And of course, if you go to an IMO car wash, you get uh, blasted with air, but you also get the um, soft microfiber kind of textured cloths to help dry the car as well. Probably, to be fair, an IMO is probably the best I have had a car dried and washed. Maybe that's something to uh, to review on the channel soon. It does look quite nice and clean on the outside. Uh, it does look quite nice and shiny. Yes, I have taken my car aerial off. It does say to take them off. Um, it is a sports aerial and it's designed so that it doesn't get... Um, pinged off by car washes but uh, it's better safe than sorry because it's more money to replace the aerial than it is to get the car washed. What do you think Alfie? Good. Yeah? Let's give it back over now, drying the car in. Oh, it's stopped and it's gone, gone back the other way now. It's gone to dry the rear of the car now. Yes, look, here I am. How well you can see it. There it is, you can just see it now. Yes, yeah, so it's drying the car again. As I say, I don't know how well you can see. You'll probably see it when it comes up, but there is lots of water still on the wind screen on the back. comes past again see how dry it gets my uh, my windscreen I just don't quite think the uh, air jets are quite strong enough My mirrors haven't moved. Yeah, well, that's why my windscreen it dries now. Uh, the wipers look like they want to take off. But my windscreen definitely isn't dry. No. <laughs> yes, mate. Would I do it again? Probably not. 
So, uh, welcome back. We're at the car wash. Um, bless me if I sneezed in that last clip. I can't remember. Um, would I use it again? Would I pay £8.50? I think it was for the car wash again. Uh, no. It is not worth £8.50. Um, their cheapest wash is £3. Um, that doesn't include a dry. And in all fairness, it's probably quite sufficient. Um, if you want your car dried, then uh, you're better off in reality going to a hand car wash where people do it for you or pop yourself down to a local IMO. Um, like I said, we haven't got an IMO in Chatham on here, this one is Gloucester. So if I could have gone to an IMO, I would have gone to an IMO. I will go to an IMO just for the YouTube channel at some point. I won't just go, I'll make make sure I'm going to Gloucester as well for a reason or maybe it might not even be Gloucester it could be somewhere else wherever there is an IMO um, I've been to IMO once before and I do quite like it it's, um, I think when going to an IMO car wash there's a, quite a novelty to it because it's obviously one of those car washes that pulls you through um, and not only that you get coloured foam on the car I think it's pink, green and yellow I want to say let me know in the comments what the actual colours are if you've been to an IMO recently uh, but would I pay £8.50 to go to the Sainsbury's car wash again the simple answer is no it ain't worth it at all um, there's probably better car washes out there for less um, in all fairness we felt I don't think we've actually got that many car washes in Cheltenham so um, yeah Sainsbury's did used to be my hot spot I used to go for the £5 wash from the old setting or £6 wash from the previous setting but I certainly don't think that that upgrade, whatever the manufacturers have done to it, is worth it. Um, Morrison's have got a very similar setting. Um, one of the great things is now you don't have to go in and buy, buy your car wash ticket. You can do it contactless for your Apple Pay or Google Pay. Um, actually at the car wash. Um, and Morrison's do that as well. They've got an app. Um, Morrison's one, the app is really crap. It crashes all the time for me. <laughs> Um, but I've used it before and I think one of the biggest flaws Morrison's have got with their app is if the car wash is broken and therefore closed um, and you've brought a ticket already thinking it might be open you unlucky you have to go through the system to try and get a refund and uh, that's not easy I've done that before and when I spoke to Morrison's they were like no oh, basically <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend Morrison's Car Wash or the Sainsbury's Car Wash in Cheltenham. Um, I used to go to a um, hand car wash down by Kingsditch. For those of you local to Cheltenham, you'll probably know where I'm on about. But uh, they've closed down now. So, um, unfortunately, I can't go there anymore. But, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked it. If you have, thumbs up. If you haven't, thumbs down. Make sure to leave a comment and um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye.